Hey guys, welcome. In this episode, we're gonna get some hands-on experience working with the on-click event for buttons. And let me just show you what we got so far. So we got this button, and if you wanna see what it does, let's go over to my sick new smartphone. Click button, and look, it does absolutely nothing. Wow, worthless. Well, how can we make this do something? Well, if you need a little bit more of the background information, check out the previous two episodes, because that's where we kind of got that foundation. But if you're just looking for, hey, here's what you code, that's what this video is for. So let's get to it. All right, let me move that back over there and scroll over. Okay, so when we click one of these buttons, well, it's the same button. So if you just want one, you can click that. So, all right, so we got this button. And over on the right, one of the common attributes is on click. Now you could go through and find it too. The common one just kind of puts the most common ones, obviously. Um, so I don't know why I'm actually showing you guys. It's not that valuable, but you can go on here and you can set it here. Now you can also search. So you can just search on click and give it a value. Uh, let's just say disable. So that's the value we give it. And I'm gonna close out of that. So right here, and you can check in the text. So if you wanna check out the XML, scroll down and you can see we have it right here and it's complaining, blah, 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 it wasn't found. So basically we're saying, hey, we want this method to execute, but it's not finding that method. That's because we haven't coded it yet. So that makes sense. So now what we need to do is we need to open mainactivity.java. You can find that inside of this folder here. And we're gonna create a method here. Now what we do is we just say public void disable. So the name has to match. We are in charge of this part right here. We can name it whatever we want. As long as this value here matches this value here, then we're good. Then parentheses, we say view V again, the V you can put whatever you want there, but the, you need to have this spelled like this. So you can't change this to something else. That's not going to work. So keep that as, as view, and then you can name that whatever you like. If you want to follow along exactly, just name it V for simplicity. And there we go. Now, when we take this, take a look at this, um, it's still complaining. Maybe if we save, move disable, let's see if we got everything. I think, I think everything's wired up, right? Let's just hover over this one more time. Yeah, I, I think it's working. It's just confused. It, it gets it gets that way sometimes. So I think we should be able to. Um, whoops, no, X out of that. We should be able to run this. We shouldn't get any errors. But if we do, we will fix those right away. And literally, building takes like ten hours. Cannot find symbol class view. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, we actually need to do an import. So if you look up here in the code, there's this import section and we actually need to add one of these. So uh, there might be a way to generate what we need from that. I'm not sure. Um, but what we can do is we can say import android.view like so. And now let's check activity underscore main. I'm not quite happy. Let's try dot view dot view. There we go. All right, and if you're wondering how I knew what to type there, it's just from this activity main dot XML. Sorry, I keep jumping back and forth here, but you can hover over this um, and it'll tell you what the issue was. So let me, let me go change this real quick. So we'll make that incorrect. Go back to the XML hover over this and you can see it says android.view.view with a capital V there, not found. So that's that's how I knew what to import. All right, let's go back to our code and fix that up like so. Now we should be able to run this app and we shouldn't get any, any build issues, but it's still not going to do anything because this method is going to be executed and nothing's gonna happen because we don't have any code here. So here is where we can run some code, but just to prove it to you guys, let's look, take a look at our app, click the button and make sure nothing happens. All right, nothing's happening. So let's work with this parameter here. Remember, this is the, the button that was passed in. So the button that was clicked, we can say V 
dot set enabled false save this uh, we'll run this real quick and now what should happen is it's going to disable whatever button is passed in and since we clicked the only button on the screen that's the one that should be disabled so let this load for a second <laughs> I literally think my computer is gonna explode click button and check that out it's disabled we can't click it so that's that guys thank you guys for watching and we'll get into something new in the next episode so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you then peace out